All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS transforms by building a penguin. Step 11. So now we're going to use the wave animation on the left arm. We'll have the animation last three seconds, infinitely iterate, and have a linear timing function. All right. So if you haven't noticed, we have not learned any of this stuff yet. So since we're running out of... Uh, we're running out of responsive web design things. At this point, we should know that it's time to start using Google and the uh, various resources there to get the information we need when we're doing CSS, because this thing will only hold our hand so much before we got to go face the wolves ourselves. That being said, let's put something like CSS animation up in here. All right. So CSS animation, I've already got it picked w3 schools i've already got this picked. this is definitely not the first time i've done tried to record this video uh so we've got all this stuff right here all right so first things first we're gonna have to use the wave animation on the left arm so we have to somehow get it to start waving or to at least know that it needs to animate so we're gonna start with the animation name we'll come out down here and see an example uh, so here's the example of the keyframes thing we've already made. And then here's how we activate it by saying animation name example for this one. But for ours, it's going to be wave. So we'll say right in here, animation, animation hyphen name is wave. All right. So now it knows it's an animation. And uh, now we're going to have it last three seconds. So let's come up here. Uh, we see right here animation duration. So let's come down here to see an example of the duration. Here's animation duration, four seconds. Let's just take this and change it back to three. Change it to three, since uh, this might get a little long. So let's change this four to three, just like that. And now we're going to have it infinitely iterate. So let's come back up here. Let's look at through this animation iteration count. That sounds like something we could use. Uh, so let's come down here and try to find it. All right. Uh, it, item, pardon me. I, pardon me again. Animation iteration count three. That's good, but we've also got an infinite right here, which is exactly what we're going to use. So let's copy that, paste that in here. And now we just have to find something that has to do with linear timing function. So let's come in here and let's see what we got. Uh, linear timing function. Here's timing function, animation timing function. Let's, it's more than likely going to be linear, uh, timing function li linear or whatever it was, uh, animation timing function linear, just like that. So let's just take this right here as an example and let's drop it off in here. All right. So there's that right there. And another thing, if you're really looking for more info on this stuff, you can just click any of these, uh, I think that there's got to be some way to click them. Animation delay. Anyway, there's all kinds of information if you want more on this. But as you can see now, it's waving. The arm's waving. Three seconds is how long it goes. One, two, three. And then starts again on three seconds, I guess. Infinite times, it'll keep, just keep doing it forever. And linear means it's... Uh, just it doesn't have any slowdowns or speed ups. It just goes one speed. All right. So let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 101 and we'll see you next time.